1300 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by shiraz mahmood khan first the headlines chairman of the presidency of bosnia and herzegovina has called for peaceful resolution of kashmir dispute in the light of united nations security council resolution Special Assistant on National Health Services has urged the people to adhere to the precautionary measures against COVID-19. 18 more deaths took place from coronavirus infection in the country during the last 24 hours. As counting in US presidential election continues, Joe Biden is still ahead of incumbent President Trump. And now news in detail. Chairman of the Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sefik Zawarfik, called on Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad today. Prime Minister Imran Khan received the visiting dignitary as his residency where Herzegovina Sefik Zawarfik was presented a guard of honor. Both leaders formally introduced their respective cabinet members on this occasion. Earlier, Chairman of the Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sefik Zavorovic, has called for peaceful resolution of Kashmir dispute in the light of United Nations Security Council resolution. He made remarks during his meetings with the Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in Islamabad today. The Bosnian President said human rights should be respected in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Shah Mahmoud Qureshi briefed the Bosnian president about the situation in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and appreciated his statement on the occupied territory. Shah Mahmoud Qureshi said both the countries have always stood by each other in difficult times. He said Pakistan desires to expand relations with Bosnia in different fields including bilateral trade, education, culture and people-to-people -people contact. Special Assistant on National Health Service Dr. Faisal Sultan has asked the people to adhere to precautionary measures against COVID-19. Talking to the media person Islamabad today, he said it is important to avoid the spread of the pandemic. 1,313 new cases of COVID-19 surfaced in the country over the last 24 hours after the test of 26,565 people. According to the latest statistics, the virus claimed lives of 18 more people during the last 24 hours. The figure of the patients recovered from the virus has reached 316,060. There are now 14,464 active cases in the country. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the residents of Batwara area of Srinagar held a protest demonstration against the anti-people policies of the authorities. A large number of people, including men, women, and children, assembled near Badami Bach Kent Road in Sirinagar and blocked the traffic for many hours. In the United States, counting of votes of presidential elections is as no way. The incumbent President Donald Trump is a candidate of Republic Party, while Joe Biden is contesting the election on Democratic Party ticket. The candidates need 270 electoral college votes out of 538 to secure the presidency. According to the latest media reports, President Donald Trump has secured 213 votes, while rival Democratic candidate Joe Biden has secured 220 votes. Special Representative of the United Nations Secretary General to Libya, Stephanie Williams, says Libyan Joint Military Commission has agreed on terms of the ceasefire implementation in the country. Talking to the newsmen in Kadama City, he said military subcommittee will be set up to supervise the return of the forces back to their camps and withdrawal of the foreign forces from the conflict lines. And that is the end of the local news. That is the end of the news. For more news analysis, Log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.